why do we yawn? Unraveling the mystery of this common behavior. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating topic that we've all experienced at some point in our lives, yawning. Ever wondered why we yawn and what's really going on when we do? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll explore the science behind yawning, the various theories about its purpose, and some surprising facts you might not know. Let's get started. One, the basics of yawning. Yawning is a reflex action that involves taking a deep breath, opening the mouth wide, and exhaling slowly. But what causes this reflex to occur? When you yawn, your brain triggers the action by sending signals to several muscles, including those in your jaw and throat. This results in the familiar yawn that we all recognize. It's worth noting that humans aren't the only species that yawn. Many animals, including dogs, cats, and even fish, yawn too. This suggests that yawning might have a deeper evolutionary significance. Two, theories about yawning. The oxygen and carbon dioxide theory. One common theory suggests that yawning helps increase the intake of oxygen and remove excess carbon dioxide from our lungs. This would explain why we often yawn when we're tired or in need of more oxygen. The brain cooling theory. This theory proposes that yawning cools down our brains. Yawning involves inhaling cool air, and this influx of air might help regulate the temperature of the brain, especially when it's overheated. The social yawning theory. Yawning is often contagious. Seeing or hearing someone yawn can trigger yawns in others. The social yawning theory suggests that this contagiousness might serve a social bonding purpose, helping to synchronize the behavior of a group. Three, yawning and sleep. Yawning is closely associated with sleep, but why is that? Let's delve into the connection between yawning and our sleep patterns. Have you ever noticed that you tend to yawn more in the hours leading up to bedtime? This is because yawning can be a signal that your body is preparing for sleep. It helps to relax your muscles and slow down your heart rate, making it easier to drift off. Interestingly, we also yawn during different stages of sleep, particularly during the transition from wakefulness to sleep and back again. This suggests that yawning might play a role in helping us transition between these stages. Four, debunking yawning myths. Before we wrap up, let's debunk a couple of common myths about yawning. The oxygen myth. Contrary to popular belief, yawning isn't primarily about oxygen intake. Studies have shown that even when you breathe oxygen-rich air, you'll still yawn if your body needs to. The boredom myth. Yawning isn't just a sign of boredom either. While we do yawn when we're bored, it can also occur for various other reasons, as we've discussed. So why do we yawn? The truth is, yawning remains a bit of a mystery. While there are several compelling theories, there's no single definitive answer. Yawning is likely a complex behavior with multiple functions, some of which we're still uncovering. Before we go, here's a fun fact. Did you know that the longest recorded yawn chain reaction involved over 1,300 people? Yes, it's true. Yawning can be incredibly contagious. We want to hear from you. What's your favorite theory about why we yawn? Do you have any personal experiences with yawning in unique situations? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing science content. That's a wrap on today's video. We hope you enjoy this exploration of the mysteries of yawning. As always, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our world. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.